are words that were once said by Keliko Malowich. Now that I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about them, only me and God knows the truth. And I'm sitting here and I'm trying to dissect the truth or this and I'm trying to figure it out. I'm here, guys. I'm, I'm getting more confused and I don't know whether it's me or I'm intentionally choosing to be confused. I just don't get it because, I mean, honestly speaking, li listen to the, the, this one. Kelly Kamala says, only me and God knows the truth about Senzo Meiwa. Right. Wait, wait. In that house, there was Dumelo, Mtogo, Longwe, Makumalo, Zandi, Kelly Kumalo, then Senzo Meiwa, right? From there, there was this intruders, right? Intruders, right? Which now we are told it's the, the intruders are among the five accused. So in, in, in this story, this entire story, right? What we've been told is that um, Dumelo ran into the bedroom. Zandikumalo ran into the bathroom where she was squatting. Uh, Togozisi ran into the other people, look, the, 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 look, the Nasha house, right? And then Longwe ran out. Do you remember that? So, people who knows what happened, it's Makumalo and, Long, and Kelly Kumalo. Then Kelly Kumalo comes and say, only me and God knows the truth. I don't know. Am I reading too much into this? You know, I thought I was going to ignore this. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, nah, man. There's something that I need to talk about when it comes to this. But I'm about to unpack, provided that you are interested. If you are, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys. And that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you do comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do all of these nice things, guys? Well, you need to do it because doing it, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. So definitely, good people, the power here is in your hands. You need to take this video to 1,000 likes. You need to comment. You need to watch this video until the end. You need to like the video, uh, right? You need to watch the ads. You also need, guys, to share this video with, with everybody. Having said that, we need to talk about this. It doesn't sit well with me. But I'm glad that IOL, yeah, they've been doing a great job here. By Entertainment Reporter, on November 12, 2019, Kelly Kumalo was, look, they, they captured a moment where Kelly Kumalo was on ENCA, right? In, look, no, 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 ETV, yes. She appeared on ETV morning show on, th on Thursday to clear the air once once again about the death of Senzo Meiwa. During the interview, Kelly Kamala starts by addressing a story published by the Sunday Independent. In the story, Sunday Independent states that the claim of Meiwa being killed by an armed robbery, uh, by the armed robbery, right, or oh, armed robbers, was a cover-up and that was, uh, and that was, um, da, 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 that it was a cover-up story and that, he was accidentally shot when he tried to intervene a qua in a quarrel between Kelly Kumalo, between Zandi or Kelly Kumalo's sister Zandi and her boyfriend Longa Twala at the singer's mother's house in Fostoras Eguruleni on the 26th of October. Now, she had then to respond to this. Okay, okay, you know, we all know now the 26th of October must be coming a holy day in this YouTube channel because we as the tribe, I mean, honestly, we've been dealing with the issue of the 26th of October. Yeah, but yeah, then she responds to this incident and says, in response to this, she says, for that independent paper, whatever they are, whatever they are, how dare you? When you go out like that and you write something so false and so untrue, at the end of the day, I promise you this, you will have an egg on your face. Hmm. I'm, I'm curious to know what happened to the Sunday world. Did they have the egg on their face? I'm still curious. But nevertheless, let's continue. 
Let's. I, I just wanna read this again. In response to this, for what look for for what for for that independent paper, whatever they are, or look whatever they are, how dare you? When you go out like that and write something, uh, something so false and untrue, at the end of the day, I promise you, I promise you this, you will have an egg on your face. Okay. Okay. What, what, what's the symbol of having an egg on your face? Because I, I feel like that's a figurative speech. So what, what, what's the message behind that? Figurative speech. You will have an egg on your face. What's the... Oh, oh, please explain that to me. I'm still trying to find out because I feel like that was a message. That was a quiet message, right? Then I'm saying this because uh, where I'm seated right now, I did tell you guys that I'm, I'm receiving a lot of uh, threat, death threat uh, as well. You know what I'm saying? Not just threat, but it's death threat. Some of those death threats, they come in, um, you know, when people talk, you can tell look, that, okay, this person is telling me that I'm going to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? And that is what is constantly happening these days. And uh, uh, yeah, so you you read into messages that are just clear, like, hey, yeah, guys, um, some of the messages, I think I was helped by some of the people that I trust. That I'm gonna that I'm not gonna name that they get to unpack this message to say this is what they are trying to say this is the message that is being sent to you here you understand so I'm looking at the egg issue here what what's the meaning of this can somebody explain this to me now the the, the look the Tamba singer goes on to mention the numerous times she has spoken about the Mayiwa case and that people have decided that they want they wanted to be guilty. People have decided that uh, they want me guilty. <laughs> okay. I think if I had that video, I'm going to play that video, right? <laughs> I do remember her saying that. She ends by saying that people must believe what they want to believe and uh, and that me and God knows the truth, right? Adding that she... She look I think that she will never protect somebody that uh, killed her, look, her, her daddy's father and that God will win. Now... This is the message that as well that I don't get it. Uh, I don't need to remind you of the things that Kelly Kamalo seems seemingly she is. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to say that. But let's go this. Let, 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 me, let me take you into this route. She, sa she speaks about the fact that God wins. Which God? And I've been meaning to ask this question. Which God? Because... If you are talking about the Almighty God, the Almighty God, let me let me let me give you the history. One day he dealt with a certain king. You'll find the story in the book of Jeremiah, chapter chapter from chapter 18 up to chapter 24. But in chapter 22, chapter 21 and 22, he's warning this king and he's saying, You are supposed to give justice to people. You are supposed to be sympathetic to the to poor people. You are supposed you are supposed to be sympathetic to the needy. You are supposed to be sympathetic to the widows, but you have done none of these things. And then he's asking, "Is this the reason why I chose you to be the king?" So, if you are talking about that God, that God is very interested in justice. And if justice is not served, that God will deal with you. Anybody that is found on the other side. So, I'm very much keen to know because if it's about God, then with God, there are a lot of things that you wouldn't have done if really you are driven by this God, the one who created the universe. Then there are things that you, could, you, you wouldn't have done. First of all, you would have gone down to the Mayua family and tell them what, what have happened if it's about that God, right? And if it's about that God, you would have actually, you would have... Um, you you would have you you would have created the relationship between your child and the Meiwa family. Yeah. So if you are not willing to live in peace and make peace, as the book of Hebrews will say, be in harmony with everybody. If you're not willing to work for that, but you're still saying, God, which one? It poses a lot of questions. 
But let's continue. Because it will be like, Tina Pelas ya mzonda. Nevertheless, let's continue. In the land expo expose, the newspaper also revealed that they saw official document alongside Beiwa's murder docket containing revelation about the cover-up. According to the, look, the document, former lead investigator and case uh, Colonel, uh, Colonel Bongani Kininda is said to have withheld a crucial statement he had received in 2017 on or, or on who murdered Usenzo Meiwa and why. A case of defeating the ends of justice was opened against him in, in May this year, uh, but he was mysteriously transferred to Wazulu Natal before uh, he was arrested or questioned. Huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <ne? laughs> guys, who's Bongani Kininda? Yes, I'm interested to know this character. Who's Bongani Kininda? Like, I want to know the cases that he has done. I'm very much keen to that profile, right? It appears like this is the guy you don't want to mess with because if you're going to mess with this guy, uh, yeah, it appears like the more we talk about Prakatiya Bongani Kininda, the more he gets annoyed. Um, Bongs, Prakatiya, where are you, Prakatiya? I'm interested to know you, but I don't want to know you in an unfavorable circumstances, right? Please, not that. So I'm not saying you should say, yeah. You've been wanting to know me now. I will arrest you. No, 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 no. I not that unfavorable circumstances. No. I, I wish to have an interview with you. And I want to sit down and I want to ask certain questions because your name comes up time and again. And um, I don't get it as to why. Like, I'm, at first, I didn't have a problem with your name appearing every now and again but now i'm beginning to ask myself questions as to say this name appears time and again time and again this name appears how do you feel about it you as an individual being spoken and if you're looking at your name appears in matters that that look that look in, in situations that matters the most L like here it matters the most in terms of career advancement, does it affect you? If it does, what are you doing about it? Uh, KK, only you and God knows. But there was more than you and you, you, but there was more than you and God there. What do you mean when you say only knew, only you and God knows who took sense of me was life? That does it make sense though? To you, Nje, when you are listening to that, does it make sense to you? What are we missing here? What's the egg on somebody's face? Because you are not alone in that house, like I've already mentioned. And from what we know, a person that then supposedly should know as to what happened, it is you, your mother, and God. But your mother has been uh, removed from this situation. Is that intentional? Because from the testimony that is under oath, which is unquestionable, we believe that anything that is said there should be the truth. And if that's so, do Melo said, you saw, you and your mother saw what happened. Togo said the same thing. Zandi says the same thing. So, if Longwe, surprisingly, Longwe knows why you, you know, Kusenzo Meiwa got shot, but he ran away before he got shot. That's surprising, eh? He speaks confidently about it, but as he may get along, KK, I don't know what's, yeah, yeah, see, when I was reading this, I was just kind of like numb, and I was like, what is this? But I, I, I'll leave it here. Maybe, I'll, maybe you will get touched one day and decide to tell us what you mean because from what I'm reading here it honestly doesn't make sense to me maybe it does to you but to me it doesn't make sense 
let me leave it here guys till the next video please take care